Hey, Jackson. <clears throat> Thanks going? for taking the time to uh, join us today. Yeah, no problem. Um, <clears throat> I, I think uh, it, it felt like there was, you know, some improvement in the last game, you know, over uh, over the game in Philadelphia, uh, up in Minnesota. Obviously, it's an important uh, place for you to perform well. Um, you kind of been looking back in your assessment of that particular game. What things do you think were positives out of that game, and what things do you feel uh, you're going to need to improve? Uh, in order to be able to get a win against Austin this weekend. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, as um, I think over the last two games, you know, we've kind of talked about our, um, you know, our offensive um, abilities, and I think we've um, really only had one shot um, in the last two games, and that's something that um, we need to improve um, drastically at. And, you know, I think we need to, to get our, our forwards and our wingers in front of goal and, Give give us a chance to, to win some of these games and um, you know provide opportunities for for them better. Um, so that's definitely <clears throat> you know a focus point um, in the last two weeks that that we've been trying to improve and, and get better at. Um, I think you know you can see a little bit more of the order um, being a little bit better defensively. I think you know the shape and um, aggressiveness has been there. You know not allowing a lot of chances or goal scoring opportunities, which is um, I think a positive that we take away from the games. Um, but definitely creating more chances in, in the offensive half to give us um, a chance and our forwards a chance to score score more goals is something that, that we're really focusing on right now. Thank you. Next, we have Fabian Rankle. Thank you, Jackson, for your time today. Um, I wanted to ask you personally, what do you think about your <clears throat> position that you've been playing? I know recently you haven't been playing it, but at the beginning of the season you were playing uh, kind of like a center back role. How have you been feeling playing that? Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, talked with the coach um, during uh, preseason about, you know, um, kind of a free role um, with um, Nathan and, um, you know, Calvo to my left and right and, you know, being able to, you know, start start the attack and start the possession and, you know, kind of drive with the ball and, and find passes in between lines and, you know, um, I think with Nathan being being injured in the first game, you know, it kind of changed a little bit um, and the formation changed. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, we had a really good plan and, um, you know, trying to get all our midfield players on the field. And it was the formation that um, I think at the time we thought was going to was going to work out well and, and something that we could really hurt teams and and be dominant with. And so um, we tried we tried that. And, you know, unfortunately, some injuries came up and. Um, you know, we kind of had to readjust and, um, you know, but I'm really comfortable being in um, multiple different places. And I think that versatility is, is something that helps a team. You know, everyone kind of has to be ready to, to step into a role that, um, you know, benefits the team and helps. And so um, whether it's, you know, in that position or the midfield position, um, ready to help the team um, try to win. Next up, we have Chris Dangerfield. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> Hey, Jackson, probably uh, the same question in some respects, bud, but um, I just felt that the team looked a bit better balanced with you back in the midfield, and I thought that the distribution of the ball to our dangerous players, as you were, uh, was better with you in that role. Um, do you have a preference, really? I mean, do you feel that the team itself against Minnesota just looked like it was moving in a better direction? Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think, you know, my whole career so far, I've played more in the midfield and um, I'm definitely more comfortable in that role and in that position. And, um, you know, uh, I think I like to, to be on the ball and, you know, try to, <clears throat> you know, help our defense get it, um, you know, break the lines and, you know, advance the attack. And so I think, you know, a little bit more freedom in, in finding spaces and finding the pockets and, and working with um, Jan and Jamiro during that game, I think we were able to you know, have a bit better flow and, um, you know, you know, bring the ball forward a little bit better. So um, for me, I definitely feel more comfortable. You know, I've just been, um, you know, in that in that role longer and, and used to it a lot better. Um, but I think the team is working much better together. You know, <clears throat> the cohesion between the new guys, I think, is, is really starting to, to come together. You know, it's just about um, our execution in, in the attacking third that, that I think we need to improve. And, um, yeah, so for me, um, I really think that the team is moving right, and you know, hopefully, um, me being in the midfield again will will help that. 
Thanks, bud. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, let's take a second question from Jamin Moore. Go ahead, Jamin. Okay, Jackson, this is something uh, I think we'll get to talk to Jeremy here in a minute, and I want to talk to him about it too. But one of the things that you know hasn't happened uh, very much this season is really being able to find him uh, in dangerous positions in front of the box. I think he's received the ball, uh, you know, four times from passes into into zone seventeen right in front of the goal all season long, and three of those have resulted in shots, but not necessarily, you know, the highest probability shots. Um, is it a volume issue? Do you guys need to get the ball into the box more often for him, or do you need to get him uh, and find him in better positions so that he's got better chances to score? You know, what's your pers perspective on that? Yeah, I know. I think, you know, like I mentioned, I think we've had one shot in the last two games, and it's definitely been um, a focus point. Um, you know, I think in the video that we've seen is, you know, Jeremy makes really good movements, and, and I think partly is we're not finding him. Um, you know, I think it is definitely volume of, um, you know, trying to get the ball in the box. You know, I think we do get it in there enough, but um, then it comes down to the quality of the pass and, you know, the timing of, of the movements. And so I think, you know, in the first couple of games, I think we've just been off by half a step here and there, you know, trying to, trying to find them. Um, I think, um, you know, in the past we've had, you know, Christian and, um, you know, wingers who have been, um, you know, kind of, flying up and down, you know, getting a lot of crosses in, into our forwards. And so you can kind of see the formation changing to, you know, kind of what we've done in the past and trying to be really dynamic and, and get, you know, Jeremy and our other forwards chances because um, those are the guys who are going to hurt the, the opposition and, and get goals. So um, I think it's a mixture of both. You know, I definitely think um, it's feeding him the ball and keep feeding him and keep trying to get it to him. And um, it's also, you know, the, the quality of, of the ball that, that we're giving him, you know, he he can't always be in in our half trying to trying to fight and battle and and then um, make it to the to the other team's 18. You know we have to you know kind of get our wingers in good positions to you know make good crosses and, and get them get them chances. Thank you. And we're going to take la one last question from Alex Morgan. He asks uh, he's wondering how you feel playing alongside Jan Gregus in the midfield and how that may be a little different than your partnership with uh, Jutson or Eric Um Yeah, you know, uh, I think since I've been in the league, Jan has been in the league and, you know, I've always competed against him and I always thought very highly of him. You know, he's very, um, very technical player and very smart player. Um, you know, he has great size and, um, you know, I didn't really realize until I started playing with him is his mobility is, is really good. Um, you know, he definitely... Um, I think has adapted to, to the way that we play and, and the way that we press in the last few games and um, he's only gotten better. Um, I think he's a player that um, can make those long passes and can, can help break lines. Um, so, you know, with Jutsen and Eric, it's a lot shorter passes and, you know, I think we're much closer together. Um, with Jan, I think we can be a little bit more spread out and, you know, cover a little bit more areas of the field and, um, you know, both have the capabilities of dropping in and receiving the ball and, you know, finding Jamiro or trophies in, into the pocket. So I think it's really been awesome playing with him and, and I think he's getting better and more comfortable with the team. And so, um, you know, I think the partnership between us two is, is only going to get better and better.